hey guys welcome back to the channel today my name is Osetale so in my last video I shared how I made this beautiful kimono jacket and I said I was going to be using the remaining fabric which is this to share with you guys how to make a short so that's what we'll be doing today so you're just going to go ahead and open up your fabric on the table okay go ahead and open up your fabric like this you're going to determine the right and the wrong face you're going to go ahead and fold your fabric together just like this after you're done folding just go ahead and iron it out and all of that i'll be using this part as my starting line okay i'm just going to place my tape and measure down to my hip length so this measurement is minus my band okay then you take it all the way to the full length of your shorts then you're going to add extra two inches for the folding the hem then go ahead and roll this out so guys after you're done doing that the next thing you want to do is to come on this line here which is my hip line this is also my crotch line for a person who is bigger your hip line might be different from your crotch line so do make sure you measure your hip and crotch line when you're taking your measurement so i'm going to take my hip measurement divided by four on this line i'll take the same thing on the waistline and connect it after you're done doing that now you're going to come to this place and go out by two inches then use your curve rule to just make a curve there after doing this guys the next thing you want to do is to come down here and measure this crotch line that you have i'm supposed to have 10 inches at least so what i'm having now is 11 inches totally okay so i'm just going to come down here and go down by half inch then i will connect it so minus a half inch from the 11 inches i currently have 10.5 which is perfectly fine now i'm going to take my waist measurement divided by four i will add extra one inch for the dart and extra half inch for the sewing allowance so i'm just going to go ahead and take that on the waistline so i will mark here like half inch just like half inch then on that half inch line that's where i'm going to take the measurement okay so take your measurement there then just connect this to meet your crotch line just like this okay so just blend it just like that then you're going to connect this so just roll it out like that then after you're done doing that guys you're going to come here like you going down like about two inches then you're going to measure your tie measurement divided by two then you're going to come here and take your round leg measurement divided by two then you're going to connect it after you're done doing this guys now you cut it out you realize i cut this hem part first because i'm going to be folding it just the way you see me do so that's how you're going to cut cut that part first fold it in before you go ahead to cut it out so guys this is what you're going to have after you're done cutting make a notch here so this is the front piece so these are the front pieces i'm going to be using this front piece now to cut the back so i'll just fold my fabric together again just the way we did before rule a line here as my starting line then i'll place the front pieces on my my fabric then make sure you have a space of about three inches just like that then go ahead and connect this line just you know extend this line out now i'm going to be measuring three inches on this my extension that i made then i will go out here by two inches come down a little bit go out by two inches come here and go out by two and a half inches then i'm just going to use my free hand to just connect it like a curve just the way you see me do then you're going to roll this out just like that now when you measure this line you have here you're going to have like about 14 thereabouts which is like extra four inches added to your front crotch line okay then you connect it like that so after you're done doing that now you're going to come here on this hem pass you're going to go out by two inches just go out by two inches and you just connect it to meet that crotch line just like that then you go ahead and cut this out So guys this is what you're going to have after cutting the front and back pieces are all ready you see me i'm marking the wrong face so i won't miss it because of the nature of the fabric so this is it 
these are all the pieces the front and the back now i'm going to be using this fabric to cut the pocket i'm just going to fold it together like this you fold it again then it's about like six and a half inches wide just go ahead and curve it out in the shape of a pocket just like this this um fabric is a bit short i might be adding to it later so i'm just going to go ahead now and place this outside for now now i'm going to bring the actual fabrics then i'm going to go ahead now take it to the sewing machine and sew it just like that i will do the same thing to the front piece then after i'm done i will put that in the front piece i'm not going to be putting that in the back piece because it's going to have an elastic band so i'm going to do that right now so guys this is what i had after i was done joining the crotch line as you can see i also went ahead to put that at the sides of the front piece this is also the back piece i've joined the crotch line you will notice that this place is a bit sharp so just go ahead and use your scissors to just straighten it up just like that and that's it so this is it guys now the next thing i want to do is i'm going to bring a fabric that i already ironed together it is about two inches wide okay this is what i'll be using for the band where i will be putting my elastic through i'm just going to go ahead and sew it as i demonstrated so guys this is what you're going to have after sewing now i'm going to go ahead to put my elastic band through it so my elastic band is 11 inches this is my round waist measurement divided by two minus four inches so that's what i cut as my elastic band so just go ahead and put it through your band so guys this is what you're going to have after doing that now i'm going to bring the front piece i already sew band to the front piece for the sake of time now I'll bring the pockets i already added extra fabric to the pockets as i said i was going to add extra fabric now the pocket is 11 inches long which is perfect okay now i'm just going to go ahead and place the pocket together like this you just align everything together and measure down seven inches so you're going to make a notch at the seven inches okay now i'm going to bring my fabric i will i will take one of the pockets i'll put it make sure i determine the right face then i place it right sides facing each other i'll put it on the side like this making sure that the pocket is like half inch higher than where my band stop okay go ahead and pin it all the way to where we notched then you're going to stop there okay now I'm take this sewing machine i'll just sew it down so after i'm done sewing i will go ahead and do the same thing to all the sides then i will also do the same thing to the back i will also do the same thing guys to the back just like that so this was what i had after i was done sewing the pockets to all the sides as i demonstrated now i'm going to go ahead and place these two front and back pieces together just like this then i will take this to the sewing machine i'm just going to go ahead and sew it down sew it down when i get here like half inch below my band i will stop then i'm going to be leaving a gap of about six inches you can see i'm already using chalk to mark it for you to see well so leave a gap of six inches before you continue to sew it to the end okay so i'm ruling a line where you are going to sew so you're just going to go ahead sew from here and stop here leave from here to here then sew from here to the end after you're done doing that you're going to sew around the pocket just like this you sew it like that and clip it so guys very easy just go ahead and do it the way you see me demonstrating it then after you're done doing that you will do exactly the same thing to this other side so this was what i had after i was done joining it you can see i also went ahead to use the overlock machine to weave it as i always do so this is it i also went ahead to join this side the the other side now i'm just going to flip it out to the right side for you to see you see how our shirt is looking it's already coming out it's almost done actually this is the pocket okay 
so guys this is it now the last thing i'm going to go ahead to do is to hem this down part i'm just going to go ahead and fold it and run stitch on it and that will be all so guys this is it this was what i had after i was done hemming the damn part and our shorts is ready so this is how easy it is to actually make a simple short like this thank you so much guys for watching please do all to subscribe i'll be seeing you on my next video bye